Hey, welcome to my vegan kitchen. And today we're gonna to be making barbecue jackfruit sliders. So easy, so delicious. So I decided to do this video for you guys because it is a holiday weekend. And I know how it is, guys. You get invited to those barbecues, family barbecues, friend barbecues, and you're vegan and there's nothing for you to eat. However, they told you there was something for you to eat, right? And you get there and it's a salad. Well, guess what? This time you're gonna bring your own food. And I've done this before at barbecues and everybody, the non-vegan, end up eating it. So it's that delicious, it's that good, and it's so easy, and here we go. I am going to use, I mean, you can do one can, but I'm also not only doing this YouTube video, I am also doing food prep for a client. So I'm gonna do two cans, but the recipe that will be on myveganKitchen.com will be uh, a one can uh, serving for, and that usually serves maybe about four people. All right, so I got green jackfruit from Trader Joe's, you can get it from your Asian markets, um, international markets, they've become very popular so it's a little easier to find. So the first thing I wanna do, let me get my can opener. I thought I had it out here, but I forgot. And I'm gonna open the can, both cans, I'm gonna show you what to do. Because it's sitting in brine, sometimes that brine will make the jackfruit a little bit bitter. So you wanna wash it. So let me open both. I'm gonna show you what the jackfruit looks like. And jackfruit doesn't have any taste. There's not much of a flavor to it. It's basically, once you season it, that's when it will have flavor. But let me pop one of these out. And camera person, get in close so you can see what it looks like. It looks like that. It's basically a fruit. And once you pull it apart, it looks like shredded meat. So it can look like pulled pork or shredded chicken. So I'm gonna pour it here in my colander, get the water out, pour it in there. That's my two cans. And once that gets shredded, it's gonna be a whole lot. I'm just gonna wash them. So once I wash them, I just squeeze out most of the water and break them up. And I'm just gonna break them up into a large bowl See, and you can see, it just looks like shredded meat. Okay, so once you shred all of the jackfruit, this is what it looks like. Just looks like shredded chicken or shredded pork. All right, so we have our jackfruit ready. I diced or chopped half of a yellow onion. And over here, heating up in my skillet, I'm gonna add some grapeseed oil and let that just get, uh, let's add a little more because we have two cans of jackfruit. In my skillet, I'm gonna add the yellow onions and let them start to crisp up for a little bit. Let them get translucent and add a lot of onions. This is a, a, a large onion and it's half of a large yellow onion. Remember, we're trying to give this jackfruit flavor because it has no flavor. Now that the onions are translucent, we're going to add in the jackfruit. We're just going to pile it in there. All right, now I'm just combining the cooked onions with the jackfruit. So it gets it's all combined together, and I'm gonna season with salt and pepper. So I'm adding some cracked black pepper and some Himalayan salt. And we're just gonna let that cook down a little bit, probably about mm, five to seven minutes. Okay, so as you can see, it is browned nicely. However, we're gonna put it in the oven because we want it to get nice and cooked and brown and the real texture of like pulled pork or pulled chicken. So let me turn this off. Okay, we have this nice non-stick pot. So this is slides right into a baking dish. And this is when you're gonna add your favorite barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna add one of my favorite barbecue sauces from Trader Joe's. And this is like a pineapple spicy blend. And I'm just gonna put it all over the jackfruit. And I'm gonna pop it in the oven. I am 
popping it in the oven. Okay, and we're gonna let that bake up for a little while. I'm gonna check it in probably about 10 minutes and see how it's doing. All right, 15 minutes. Let's pull it out, take a look, look at that. The barbecue sauce has caramelized. That looks yum, yum, yum. All right, let's get it over here to a safe spot. It's nice and hot. Close this back up. I'm glad I do my squats. Anyway, side joke, don't mind me. Okay, this is it. This is it. Look how good it looks. Look at it. I'm gonna move it around so you can see, just like pulled pork. Mmm, that barbecue sauce smells so, so good. It's really, really hot. So I'm moving it around just to cool it down a little bit. We're gonna get some buns out. And I got these buns at the grocery store. All right, so we're gonna use these buns. And it's so much easier, guys, to find vegan products. Like, in the past, it was so hard for me to find buns at the grocery store that didn't have eggs or didn't have butter. This was easy, found it right at the grocery store. No eggs, no butter, completely vegan. Look how nice and soft they are. Mmm. I'm just gonna bust it open. I was gonna cut it, but mm -mm. we just gonna bust it open. I hear the oven timer. Hold on one sec, let's turn that off. Turn the light off. All right, before I even put the um, jackfruit, <laughs> We're gonna put the jackfruit in the bun. This right here is my pickled cabbage, spicy picket, pickled cabbage. And I do have the recipe on YouTube. I did it probably a year ago, so you might have to dig a little bit, but just type in spicy um, cabbage, pickled cabbage, and it should come up. But basically all it is is cabbage. I did red cabbage, um, regular green cabbage, onions, uh, habanero peppers or scotch bonnet peppers. I did some pimento seeds, salt, a little bit of sugar. It's delicious, delicious, delicious. You put it in a nice jar like this with regular white vinegar. This has been brewing for probably six months, so you know it's gonna be good. I'm gonna add that to my sandwich. So, let me get a little fork for that. Or you know what, I have another tong. So we're gonna use this tong for that and this tong for this. All right, let's get some jackfruit. I'm gonna put it on my bun. Yes, that's nice and warm. And we're gonna grab a little bit, I'm gonna lay this down because it's gonna all start pouring out. Grab some of this spicy cabbage. Ooh, look at that onion, mmm. Yes. You know my favorite part is the tasting. Let's stuff this in here. Let's get to take. Oh, this is this looks so good. All right, you ready? All right, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. This is really good. Mmm. 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 I'm gonna chew it. And then I'm gonna talk to you about it. <laughs> Y'all, do yourself a favor and take these barbecue jackfruit sliders to your next um whatever barbecue what potluck do yourself that favor these are delicious no one's gonna think that it's not meat you don't even have to tell them don't even tell them why tell them like don't even don't go in there but like this is vegan just bring it and be like guys i brought something and put it all on the bun they're gonna love it. This is absolutely delicious. Just me having to stop just to explain this to you, I'm mad because you know I wanna finish this. Again, guys, thank you so much for joining me for another quick and easy. This is definitely quick and easy. This literally took 15 to 20 minutes in the oven and on the stovetop, maybe five to seven minutes and you're done. Take it with you, delicious, delicious, enjoy. Have a good weekend, and I'll see you guys next time on My Vegan Kitchen.